guy has figured out the you are broke you have to break so first of all add your image and zoom into full screen like this now go to blending and opacity and reduce your image opacity like this now add a text in the center of your image and select both layers to make it group okay it's done and now we have to select null option so go to object and elements and select null feature now we have to select group one layer and connect this layer with null one option like this okay so layer is connected with null now select null and go to move and transform add two keyframes like this first one is here a second one is here now go to first keyframe zoom in your image like this with z coordinates now select a graph between keyframes and choose this one adjust your graph like this and it's done okay now we will give fade in animation with opacity add first keyframe and reduce your opacity to 0% now add second keyframe is here and increase the opacity and third keyframe is here and decrease the opacity so our image will perform like this okay guys animation is ready as you can see it looks good now we will add another text just add your text go to color option now go to gradient option this one and here is a black color so i am selecting green color you can choose any color but i choose green okay so we will add a effect which is text transform and is preset wave right to animate our text just add it and now you can see our text is animating right now now i need to remove this extra part and we have to do one more thing select this layer and connect it with null one okay so here's a quick preview and it looks fine now we have to do one more thing select this layer and go to move and transform select zoom add two keyframe first one is here second one is here now zoom out on second keyframe and zoom in on first keyframe like this and done also add a graph between keyframes and select this one Okay now we have to do one more thing go to opacity feature and add a keyframe in starting and reduce the opacity to 0% now add second keyframe increase the opacity and add third keyframe and reduce to 0% again so our video will be performed like this let's see okay it looks fine okay now we will add vector drawing so first of all check where your text is fading out here so add a shape like this Okay, so our shape is ready. Now we have to go color and select empty option. Done. Now go to border and shadow option. Click on it and change the stroke color. I am selecting white color. Okay. Now enable the stroke option. Okay, so our pattern is ready, but this pattern is above the text. Just drag it to under the text layer. This shape layer is so long, so I have to adjust and trim it. So I am doing like this. Okay, shape is ready. Now we have to add effect in shape layer. Just go to effects and search drawing progress. After search it, you can see the draw gradually preset. This one. Just select this and add it directly into your shape layer. It looks fine, but we have to select this shape layer and I'm decreasing the opacity. Now add one more image and add your text like this and we have to adjust it by adding a effect i am adding text spacing and you can adjust the space between letters and words so first of all i am adjusting the line spacing and letter spacing okay adjust position according to you okay so you can increase the size by zoom like this okay now we have to put this text layer below the image layer Okay, now I am adjusting the position of text layer and image layer like this. Okay, it's look fine now. Okay, so text is so simple. Just add a effect edge glow to glow over text. Just add it as a standard settings. Okay, so now I will add one more null, null two. Align your image and text layer with null two. Now what we will do select this image and text layer and make it group. Now select this group 2 and connect with null 2. Okay done. Now select null 2 and go to move and transform option and now we will add two keyframes. First one is starting point and second one is here according to your clips. Now zoom in on first keyframe with z coordinates like this. Okay. Now add a graph between keyframe select this one and adjust like this. Now select group 2 layer and go to opacity feature. Add first keyframe is here. I am adding first keyframe is here and second keyframe is here. And reducing the opacity on first keyframe. 
ओके लेट सी द रिजल्ट सो और नल इज वर्किंग परफेक्टली ओके नाउ आई एम एडिंग वन मोर इमेज ओके डन इट्स बिहाइंड द नल सो जूम इट विद जेड कोऑर्डिनेट्स एंड एडजस्ट द पोजिशन Now select this image and connect with null three. Okay, done. And you have to do one more thing. Just connect this null two with null three. Now select this image and zoom in with Z coordinates to give a distance between both images. Now I will increase the length of previous image. This one. Just select this image and click on this. Now select null three layer and add two keyframes. First one is starting. Second one is here according to you. Now zoom out on second keyframe with Z coordinate like this and adjust the position. Add graph between keyframes, this one, and adjust like this. So our video will perform like this. Now simply add text and uh, add effects, edge glow. You can duplicate the edge glow text according to you. Well, there are lots of settings to get a perfect glow on text, but I am adding two edge glow and one smooth bevel. to create a glow but i am giving the tutorial of null so i am not going in depth so just invert one edge glow and keep default other two effects now repeat the process on other text two edge glow and one smooth bevel like this okay done now go to color and select gradient now you can select any color i am selecting red now i will add a effect in this text layer text transform you can search it text transform now you can select the preset wave right i am selecting this you can select any preset and create your own but i am selecting this okay i am adding this effect on another text layer okay done now my text is performing like this also you can do one more thing just select this both text layer and make it group now select this group 3 and connect with null 3 okay so i am repeating the same process go to opacity feature and add two keyframes and reduce your opacity on first keyframe like this Okay so this text layer appear on the screen like this Okay we will add one more keyframe in the null 3 to give a perfect slow mo zoom out now click on it add a keyframe in the last like this and zoom out with set coordinate like this a little bit zoom out so this will create a perfect slow mo zoom out now add one more image and zoom into full screen for the next animation Now I am adding one more effect in this image which is called flip layer. Now we will play with angles and axes to get a good position. Okay. Uh like this. Well, you can customize your image according to you. I am just showing you a tutorial. So it's perfect now. Now we need null four. Add null and connect this image to null four. Okay. Now we'll adjust the null four because never keep your null in the ending of previous null. Otherwise, you will never get a smooth animation. Keep this image with null four. And now we have to do one thing. Select the null three layer and connect it with null four. Now increase the length of previous image. which we need to show on the animation now select null four layer and add two keyframes adjust the position of this image in the left bottom add graph between keyframe select this one adjust like this okay okay now click on this eye icon to visible this image tap on it okay now add opacity keyframes first one is here second one is here and decrease the opacity on first keyframe okay done okay so i am adjusting the position of this image because it was not good okay let me check well it comes smoothly okay we need to give a distance between keyframes and adjust the graph like this now add your text in the center of image like this and give a color on white or red
Okay, now we will repeat the same process. Add opacity keyframes in this text to give a fade in animation. Add keyframes, reduce the opacity on first keyframe. Repeat same with another text layer. So our text will be appear on a screen like this. Now add a rectangle shape and stretch it like this. I'm changing its color to red. Now I will add an effect in this rectangle shape which is Gaussian Blur. Just increase the strength up to 600 plus. Okay, it's fine. Now go to move and transform option and add two keyframes. First one is starting and second one a little further. And slide left on second keyframe and slide right on first keyframe. Add a graph between keyframes. Okay, I'm adding one more image here and adjust the position. Remember, you have to only adjust the position with Z coordinates. Don't use zoom option. Okay, so we need null layer again. Add null 5 and adjust the position like this. Select null 4 layer and connect it with null 5. Done. Also, you have to connect this image with null 5. Okay, done. Now increase the length of previous images which we need to show while zoom out. Now select null layer and add keyframes. First one is here and second one is here according to you. And zoom out with Z coordinates like this and adjust the position accordingly. Add graph between keyframe and adjust like this. Also keep a good distance between keyframes to get a smooth animation. Now we will fade out our previous image by opacity keyframes. Just add two keyframes where you want to fade out this image. I am adding here and reduce to 0% on second keyframe. So our animation will look like this. So I am putting this video speed up to 5x because I am adding text and which we have already done. Okay now I am adding one more null, null 6 and connect it with null 5 to give a perfect zoom out but firstly i will convert this both text layer into a group layer okay now we will connect this group layer to null 6 now select null layer and add two keyframes first one is starting and second one is here and just zoom out on second keyframe like this okay okay so our smooth animation is ready now I will add overlay in starting to end which is damage film overlay you can get it from my telegram channel and select the lighten screen. Ok it looks good now we need camera option. Add camera option and now enable the camera option by clicking on green tick. Ok fine so first of all click on camera, camera options and just enable the focus blur first of all. Now check the focus on your video. So I have to increase the focus distance I think. So I am increasing the focus distance. Ok. Ok and it's perfect. Ok. Well done guys, now you can create 3D reels yourself and practice Mega Man Perfect and a huge huge sorry for my bad voiceover because I'm not feeling well and I hope you like this video and if you are new on this channel so please please subscribe my channel I will post more banger tutorials like this. Thank you so much.